Uh, the next feature after the books as well is the mobile app that the students have. They can, they can revisit everything they learn in the classroom. This is controlled by the teacher, Jomo's up, how much access they're giving to the students. So when they finish a certain topic, they can then give access to the students to go to that topic. So it's not the whole thing. It's unit by unit based on the completion of that unit. Oh, Apple is your Oh yeah. It's just basically what they they're revising what they learned in the classroom. Mm -hmm. uh, the first the first program I think is really good for uh, just helping students engage like in any of those classes where before you finish the classroom, the ones that are struggling, the first program is really good. They can use that. And you know if you want to pick up small groups, that's fantastic. This is for this is like yeah, if you need the whole class you, you want to take them, and not just reading, but you want to focus on speaking, if you want to focus on writing, um, exact and listening, and it's also engaging the classroom a little bit. You know, not just sitting in, the, in their seats the whole time, get up, come in front of the class, do this, uh, bring a few of the students, uh, singing songs, and that's all stand up. So, you know, it's also encouraging motion within the kids. Uh, just sitting in the class the whole time and writing them down. So, yes. so and that, I think this is really important when it comes to that.
okay, no. Sorry, I'm on YouTube. My stickers. <laughs> Thank you. I said sorry, no, it's not acceptable. Don't forget the stickers. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But then you just put the stickers. Just hold them, not the ones. Yeah. I didn't call. That's me. She knows she needs more. Yeah, but today. I wanted to go to the because this is the chapter 17. So you're in the middle. Yeah, I'm in the middle. I'm in the I can learn to understand you much better. Exactly what it is. 
Well, she's so old. You get used to I'm just saying that. You get them to speak that. Hello, I'm Kim. He keeps repeating that, right? So. Phonics. 
Pick what you want in the middle of the day. Let's learn the letter of the day. In a, in a, <coughs> it's got this tool here. You want to spin the wheel. And if you want the students to take a chance, you just want to play a game. And you, you know, okay, who's going to come up the board next? Let's see, pick a number. And then they'll spin the wheel. This is some, something extra. Okay, okay, so number four can come in. In this case, three and four can come up. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there's also a timer. You know, give them time to do something, and okay, and this goes on. The timer just keeps going as long as you like. So uh, that's something you can use in the classroom. You want time to do this. Uh, stars. When they get it right. Yeah. That's the rest. Let's find the letter of the day. Let's say it's going to reading. Let's read the story. Let's read the story. Where is the muffin? Where is the muffin? Where is the mitten? Where is the monkey? So you're done preparing for the class and now you want to teach That's it, right? Do you? 